This is Spanish 2 Beauty and Aesthetics Vocab 26 through 30. All right, I'm going to say each of these words in English, then Spanish, and clap. And after I clap, I'd like you to repeat both the English and the Spanish with me. You ready? 26, shower, ducha. Shower, ducha. 27, mirror, espejo. Mirror, espejo. 28, sink, lavabo. Sink, lavabo. 29, the sink, el lavamanos. The sink, el lavamanos. And 30, toilet, inodoro. Toilet, inodoro. Now, let's look at shower as ducha. Early we learned duchar is to shower somebody else, and duchar se is to shower oneself. And I talked about you can sing, sing, sing in the shower, but do not cha, 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 or you will fall, fall, fall. So ducha is the shower. Duchar is to shower somebody else, and duchar se is to shower oneself. Now, mir is espejo. Everybody say ojo, ojo. Ojo is I. Now, what is the thing in the bathroom that you look into with your eyes to see if your hair is okay? It's the mirror. Again, what is, see the word S, is the thing in the bathroom you look into with your eye, your ojo, to see if your hair is okay, or girls, if your makeup's on well. Um, it's espejo, so espejo is mirror. Now, here's the problem. There are two words for sink, lavabo and lavamanos, okay? So either one is fine. Just like in, in English, we can say it's the sink, it's the wash basin, it's the wash tub, whatnot. Okay, bathroom sink or kitchen sink. Now, lavabo is shorter, so it's probably a little bit more common. Now, lavar is to wash. We've talked about um, the lavatory in England is where you go to wash up. Or if you get lava dust done, you want to wash it off. So that boy needs to wash his hands in the sink. That boy, CBO, that boy needs to wash his hands in the sink. Now, obviously, the mirror is el espejo, and obviously the sink is el lavabo. But look down here. Lavamanos ends in an OS, but it's L. Now, there are four or five words like that in English. El parabrisas, el paraguas, el lavamanos, and we're going to learn several of them later. Right now, I just want you to memor memorize that sink is el lavamanos, because literally, it's the thing that washes your hands. The thing that washes your hands. And remember, we talked about um, mano is hand. If you're a manual laborer, you work with your hands. Um, if you say, I'll fight you mano a mano, I'll fight you hand to hand. Or if you smash your hand, you say, ooh, man, oh man, I smash, smash my hand. Now, toilet is inodoro. Back in the old days, people didn't have indoor toilets. They had outhouses. And then one day, somebody developed a toilet and brought it inside, and when he told his neighbors, wow, I'm bringing the toilet inside, they're like, oh no, if you bring the toilet into the house, won't odors be a problem? If you bring the toilet into the house, won't odors be a problem? They didn't understand the flush mechanism and plumbing. They just thought he was putting a, I guess, putting an outhouse in his house, which would be disgusting, by the way. So toilet, or like the pedestal seat, is inodoro, toilet. All right, let's cover up these words in Spanish and do our post quiz. Please take a few seconds, look at these English words and say the Spanish equivalents out loud, or even better, look at these five words and write the Spanish equivalents down in a sheet of paper to make sure that you know Spanish 2, Beauty and Aesthetics, vocab 26 through 30.